god, people, did y'all see those game announcements? Did you see all those JRPGs get announced? Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, my heart. My heart can't take it, people. My heart cannot take it. But let's just go over through some of the ones that got announced. I'm not going to go through everything, everything. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but we'll see. Before we get started, guys, please hit that like button. Please hit that comment section. Um, we need to get back into the algorithm's good graces. So if you can help a brother out, help your fellow JRPG gamer out, hitting that like button means the world to me. All right, so the first one we're gonna start with here is Mind Blown for Trails. Let's move it over here. So Mind Blown, Trails has got announced with a remake of Sky One. Now, people, you no longer have, you have no excuse not to get into the series. Now, you have to now start here. I know what they're going to say. I know that, oh, Daybreak came out and they were like, oh, you can start here. No. Okay, at least in, in, in my opinion, in my opinion, you can't start at Daybreak. Don't let, if anybody else wants to say, oh, start at Daybreak, start at Cold Steel 1, start at, start at Azure. That's up to them, but I'm telling you personally, no, you start here, you start with Sky 1, and you make your way up from there, okay? So, uh, really big, um, really big deal, this, this game's coming out, and, and the best part about this is it's coming out worldwide, which I felt like was inevitable, it had to be worldwide, there's no way they were going to come out with a remake of this game, and for it to not come out worldwide, so, um, so we can see from the trailer, that um of course uh, you know graphical update which was the biggest complaint obviously and you know the um graphical shell shader look looks great um i see that they're copying um not copying but taking the, the daybreak template of allowing you to attack monsters on field um for a little bit first and then you can switch to the turn traditional turn-based battle so that's pretty cool um me personally uh, i'm still playing daybreak i'm not the biggest fan of this a little bit of action and then going into turn base but hey that's probably just me this is probably just for the people who new age of gamers that can't stand 100 percent turn based combat i don't know I, I grew up on turn based combat i can take it but hell this looks great this is a really really good um starting point well not starting point it's going to be the starting point for you people so you got no excuse now so the only thing i'm worried about with this now is that they're probably going to remake you know sky 2 sky 3 azure um zero uh the only thing i'm, I'm a little bit concerned about is if the fan this is the fan base and the reaction to the game because now we're gonna see so many people we're gonna see so many people be interested in this franchise and we have been hyping up this franchise for years we have been hyping it up so now it's time to see if you know the reaction when other people get to it will be the same as us as when we first experience it seems crazy seems like it should be a dumb deal but i feel like when you get a bigger audience of people like more casual people getting into it they'll probably say like oh, it's it's not that great it's not it's not that great as many people were saying with that this was it or the other thing i'm a little bit concerned of i think this one is going to be like a you know a definitive way to play sky one but it can also be like um when it's all said and done it's gonna be like oh play the original sky one that came out way back when and don't play this one this one doesn't do it justice i i can't predict that being the case but i've seen it happen before with some games okay the next game we want to talk about here is tales of graces f remaster oh mm, i cannot believe we're getting a remaster now i think I think um, this is a plan for Bandai Namco going forward. They're going to remaster a whole bunch of Tales games. So we need Tales of the Abyss next. Of course, we need Abyss next. It's the best Tales of game. Don't at me. At your mom. Don't at me. Uh, we'll need Exalia. Uh, what else? Exalia 1 and 2. Um, Eternia would be a great one to see. A, maybe a remake of Eternia. Maybe, maybe not a remaster, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, Destiny. We need to finally get Destiny. Can we go back and get Destiny done? You know, work with the people that did the fan translation and, you know, maybe just use that anyway. Tales of Grace is coming to us. Uh, this is a really good Tales of game. I really did enjoy it. The only thing I really had a problem with Tales of Graces was the story and characters kind of leaned into the power of friendship theme. So it is what it is. Maybe now I'm just not, I won't be so crazy about it. But um, I did enjoy it when I um, first played it way back in the day. Battle system is amongst the best I've seen in a JRPG. Definitely maybe top five or top 10 JRPG battle systems. 
so it's it's great that we're getting these tales uh, that we're getting these tales of games again being brought back into the limelight they really do deserve a ch another chance in the sun um so one of the great things about this that i really love is that they are bringing back the great shop but now they bring it back the great shop it's available from the get-go usually to get the great shop you have to beat the game and then you um utilize the great shop on your second playthrough to give yourself various advantages sometimes disadvantages and now you can have the great shop from the get-go and you can just utilize it as much as you want great for me because i played this game back in the day and i don't have time nowadays or, or even back in the day to uh replay jrpgs as much as i want sometimes i might get uh, a little bit of time here and there to replay a jrpg but when i do you know i want to take advantage of the you know carrying over stuff i had from my first playthrough um and this is a perfect way to do it so you're allowed to get like you can enable you can enable i think they give you a set amount of points that you can utilize you'll be able to maybe give yourself five times the experience five times the cash drops money drops um item drops uh cp for battle um battle um skill usage when you're in battle you have to i think you like cp or maybe it's cc and you can give yourself a bunch of it and you can just go to town if you want to and i'm definitely going to utilize that because i do want to treat this as a second playthrough i don't want to treat it like you know it's my first time playing it because it's not my first time playing it uh really great give you a lot of pre-order bonuses hopefully um this comes out and people um you know really gravitate towards it and you know we'll we'll get the other remasters quickly as humanly possible tales of graces awesome that it's getting remastered next major game i want to talk about is atelier we get a new mainline atelier game which is always great you know i figured out the rise they would definitely have to do something different and they're definitely doing something different with this game so i think it's called atelier Yum yuma yumia yumia yum yeah, I, I, I don't know. And so forgive me if, I, if I'm saying it wrong, but this one actually looks pretty good as well. Okay, so I've always said, I've always said that once Ryza came out, pretty much took the world rather by storm with her design and artists making various artwork of her and making a whole bunch of content for her. Like, and then you got a whole bunch of merchandise available for Ryza that the next character needs to be as good looking unfortunately or well, i can't i can't can't tell lies it's gotta be it's gotta have a good design um as ryza and let, let's just make no mistake ryza was a happy accident but now i feel like th they're definitely paying attention a little bit more and leading towards this design uh being a little bit more captivating for me personally she doesn't look like your typical atelier protagonist w what i get from her is she seems like a she seems like a Genshin, Hunkai Star Rail, Zenless Zone Zero type character design. And maybe that's not great for me because I'm not the biggest fans of the, what they call Hoyoverse um, type of games and their character designs. But hey, a lot of people still like them. So maybe I'm just the odd man out here and this was the best design to choose to maybe, I guess, capture that kind of look. I don't know, maybe that's just me, maybe I'm being crazy, but she definitely doesn't look like your typical Atelier protagonist. I don't know, maybe Ryza wasn't all that typical as well, but hey, um, it is what it is. Like I said, they're really going to make sure that the design is right for this because Ryza got so much stuff for her. She's still getting a countless merch to this day, whole bunch of figures, whole bunch of posters, and they probably wanted to make sure that this design also you know, resonates with people. So great. I, I'm kind of hoping with this game, I'm not getting my hopes up, but Atelier, Koei Tecmo, Gust. Can we get an English dub back into these games? Because sometimes the dialogue is so heavy. It's so visual novel-esque that I need an English dub to really help out here. But honestly, I'm still going to play this regardless. And it's going to be, I, I think it's going to be really good. I think we can get from the trailer that, you know, Atelier games are usually lighthearted affairs and they're not usually that serious. There are stakes that are at, you know, are, are, are on the line, but this one seems to have a more serious, um, mature tone than I've seen from other Atelier games, a serious tone that might gravitate more with other people so hey it is what it is 
um great to see that they are bringing us a mainline game instead of doing another gacha mobile game i do hear resna atelier resna the gacha game is doing okay it's doing pretty good actually but you know i still want to play these games from a single player perspective it's gonna be good so let's uh let's move on to the next one. Oh, i'm sorry guys her name is yumia so um f forgive me in the beginning there uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry people okay I, I listened to the trailer relax all right so another game i want to talk about is dragon quest 3 hd 2d remake um i'm very much looking forward to this game because dragon quest 3 is like the godfather of jrpgs i didn't have a chance to play it because at this point i think it's a little bit too old school for me to, to hold my attention a little bit and i just you know never actually got around to playing it so um this will be perfect for me in the 2d hd hd 2d style is always great so it's nice that they're adding new things to it and it's coming out this year which is awesome i believe it's coming out when november november 14th worldwide so that's freaking awesome they gave us a brand new trailer with some new uh characters i think new classes and this is just gonna be a perfect game to have. I'm gonna I'm a buy it on PC so I can play it on my GOAT deck or rather, let me grab this real quick. Rather, my Steam deck. I fucking love this thing. I really need to make a video about how much I, I love this thing just for playing old games. Like, goddamn, 3DS games, DS games, hell, Sega games. Oh my god. I need, well, anyway. Uh, also, guys, it's hot in here, so if I'm so if I'm like I'm sweating, it's it's just hot in my room. But yeah, this is gonna be a really good entry for everybody to play. I don't know if it's gonna be too newcomer friendly, um, because you know old school Dragon Quest games, they are kind of like you know traditional. You gotta find a save point. You can't just save everywhere. You actually gotta do a little bit of grinding. But I think this one is gonna um, have some modern day conveniences. And I do like that you can customize the characters, colors, personality to your liking. So awesome bit these graphics look amazing um i can't wait for this and they're gonna probably remake i believe um one and two as well they're just starting with three they're going backwards that's a little bit weird but yeah this is gonna be really cool the last game i'm gonna go over with you guys rune factory i've never been much of a rune factory fan i'm just not big on farming and you know collecting materials that's just not me this one looks like it actually has good story rather and it looks like it's actually a little bit more serious so let me just view that real quick um it looks a little bit more serious than your typical uh rune factory game because they all look kind of like lighthearted, like an atelier game but this one again a more serious tone and maybe it'll get people like me and others actually interested in rune factory uh this kind of look when it when it comes to room factory games before i just looked at you room factory games they look like they had good combat majority of it's farming or a good amount of it is farming anyway but this one looks like something that well it's gonna keep with that farming aspect so i guess if it is maybe this doesn't change it too much so probably going to um end up not being too interested in this one but let me know in the comments if you guys really enjoy room factory and you um are gonna get this one but you know that's it for now guys i don't want this video to go on too too long i already know it's not going to be that great in the algorithm and my and on youtube so if you got up to this part please hit that like button please subscribe throw down a comment of the jrpg that you are most excited for coming out soon and i will catch you all in the next video very soon and make sure when you see that video on your feed um hit that like button on that video also stay tuned for um the hpmp jrpg podcast will me and you know the pot the podcast panel members will go, go over more of these announcements more in depth anyway that's it for now I'll catch you all next time peace